Hello there, it's Siobhan, it's the Galloping Housewife, um, on my way out to the yard, uh, as per usual. Um, I am, yeah, actually I didn't go out yesterday, well, didn't go out yesterday because um, uh, Mitch pulled a shoe. Um, and because of his balance issues that we've been having, well, just uh, strength and balance that um, he, we've been having, I, you know, he needs the support. So, uh, and I don't even know, I don't even know if he was feeling it. Um, I didn't even ask. I was like, no, I'll just leave it. I won't go out and ride him. And then going out to ride Percy, just Percy um, was fine. Would have done it if, um, but I am actually had decided I wasn't going to ride today because, um, so I have this kind of two off one, um, two on one off um, it kind of thing going on two days is all Mitch can cope with <laughs> um, and uh, two days in a row and uh, Percy is uh, Percy doesn't need more than that so um, I yeah that's that's vaguely my the schedule that I, I have for them um, and today I am going down to the dentist and yeah and I so um, so I decided to not ride today so that I could, because um, getting down to air meant that I it would to ride two horses was going to take too much time. I have got time to ride one. So um, because I wasn't riding Mitch, I've decided decided not to go down and I am going today, which is all a very roundabout way of saying that it's um, you know it, it's like we just need to be a bit flexible, you know, like there's no. Um, need to put pressure on ourselves. I had the schedule written out and it was like I should have been riding Percy yesterday. Um, but uh, it, it takes a whole lot of energy. Um, if you've got your horses off site, you will know that it takes a whole lot of energy to sort of like get in the car and get there and get back. For me, it's quite a distance as well. So it's an hour in the car. Whereas now I've got, um, because I'm going past anyway, it's an hour I would have spent in the car anyway. Um, yeah, it's fuel costs, um, I'm not gonna lie, it's fuel costs that come into consideration. Um, and it's just, and also because I get into a rhythm with my work, and uh, rather than interrupt it two days in a row, if I can, uh, yesterday I did, I worked right through till um, five, uh, yeah, and got lot, lots done, which is great. Um, so today I haven't got very much done. I am going to have to go back and do some um, more work because I've had to leave quite well early for me. So um, and by the time I sort of like get myself organised, I need to take my lunch and um, and uh, bits and pieces. It's uh, yeah, it sort of it just disrupts my thinking patterns. And I am not good like that. I'm actually a very routines based person. Um, and I uh, yeah, I am ADHD. Um, but possibly a bit autistic as well so I struggle with that kind of like shift and um, and focus and um, you know anyone out there who's neurodivision will understand that it's 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 not just a matter of picking up your ship and walking out the door you can, just just doesn't work like that so I am going down gonna ride Percy just school him run through my dressage test I've got my dressage test for this weekend off to a show this weekend um, and I am uh, actually Mitch is getting a shoe back on today I'm not sure when um, Farrier might be there when I get there he hasn't sort of set a time but because he was just getting a shoe popped back on um, the guys out there will manage him um, for that and then I need to be down in air for the dentist at 2 um, which means that yeah, I'll be home 3.30 ish by the time I stop in the supermarket down there and um, and uh, well, it should be a bit late, probably before by the time I get home, um, because ear is about 45 minutes away. Um, but actually, what I was going to talk to you about, you would have, if you've watched many of these, you will know that I have been going down to ear to the dentist a lot. Um, and that's because I have actually just been, um, I have just completed uh, um, Invisalign, which is a teeth straightening and teeth whitening. Um, program I had so when I was a kid I had quite crooked teeth um, I also sucked my thumb when I was really little so I had crooked bottom teeth and I had some crowding and I had some I had uh, quite pronounced buck teeth I did have orthodontic care when I was younger I had um, some braces put on um, for it wasn't very long it was about 18 months yeah you know, the old wire ones um, 
places and things. Um, and well, for a start, back in those days, the you know this was 40 years ago. The orthodontic care wasn't as good as it is now, um, and certainly the aftercare wasn't as good. Um, and I lost a bottom retainer, and they wouldn't replace it. So my bottom teeth just and they all just traveled back to where they were um, and there wasn't sort of like any ongoing care so although my I didn't end up with the buck teeth that I had um, again I did end up with some like quite noticeable um, changes in the uh, uh, in my top teeth and one tooth that didn't perhaps grow as it should because um, I was a very young teenager when I had my braces on so um, so and it's just, I mean, it's absolutely, it's for me, it was just a thing that I would look in the mirror and for a start I would see some discoloration. I used to be a smoker. Um, I um, drank a lot of coffee um, and I drank a reasonable amount of red wine, you know, all the things that do stain your teeth. Um, and I, yeah, so I had, I could, I noticed the discoloration. I also noticed... Um, I can see the crookedness, particularly my bottom teeth, which, um, yeah, although my top teeth weren't great, it was my bottom teeth that used to bug me. So I would watch back videos of this and I, w I would notice my teeth. And absolutely, and probably no one else does. No one else does. Um, but it was something that I noticed. And um, I don't know whether I felt self conscious about it. I mean, like, you know, people naturally don't have perfect teeth, although we're led to believe that because most celebrities have dental work done. But I just felt like I wanted to to fix that, you know. And it's like it's, like it's no different than someone going out and um, dyeing their hair. And you all know I've done that quite a bit. And um, I'm actually going to go bright colours again soon. Um, slightly different. I will have to keep the. It won't be quite as bright and, and ridiculous. I say ridiculous. I love my bright hair when it is bright. I won't be going quite that um, outlandish um, this time. But um, yeah, it's no different to dyeing your hair. It's no different to um, getting in shape. It's no different to yeah. And, you know, and, and you know, people um, if their aesthetic is requires. So, um, you know, plastic surgery and things like that. There's no, you know, you, you don't have to justify it to anyone. Um, and so if you think I'm here justifying why I got my teeth done, I'm not. I wanted to do it for me. No one else. Like, absolutely no one else. Um, it's just I, I I wanted to have straight teeth. And they're not perfectly straight. And I did, um, I kind of said that to them when they were, um, when they were, we were talking about results that we wanted, and results that I wanted. Um, so it was like, I want them, I want them like almost straight. Um, and I didn't want them, I didn't want them whitened, um, but I didn't want them super bright, you know? Like I didn't want the, um, the celebrity, um, you know, the, the, the blue white thing that you see on TV. It's, ah! um, you know, I, I didn't want that. It was just, I, you know, I, I wanted them to look like natural teeth that happened to be quite good. You know, that, that, that's, that was my, um, that was my sort of criteria. Um, so I've still got retainers that I am supposed to wear most of the time when I'm not eating. I am about to have my, um, uh, I'm about to have my lunch, so um, consequently they're out at the moment. I will put them back in when I get to the yard. Um, and and that's actually only going to go on for another month or so, and then all I need to do is wear them overnight. Um, and yeah, and that just sort of holds holds them in place, so they're not shifting now anymore. Um, I've got to the end of the journey with that. Um, they're not being whitened anymore. They're just, it's, yeah, so it's just these retainers that I... Um, will wear overnight um or oh, basically forever you know uh or just whenever i um can and um then they yeah to keep my teeth in place um yeah so yeah i mean again yeah, it's just like if you whatever it is that you want to do you don't have to justify it to anyone you know like i've got this tattoo it's like you know i and i really like it um i am very very pale <laughs> so yeah, I'm not all that fussed about my 
it always looks pink and blotchy my skin underneath it but I you know I'm, I'm quite I'm really proud of my tattoo I you know I had a story that I've got um, that I told to a moko master so um, that's the uh, Maori so traditional New Zealand um, uh, a tattoo artist um, and I, I and he freehanded this so I told him a story about my life um, and he just freehanded it um, which was incredible so you know, it was a two and a half hour maybe three hour session um, and he just yeah he, he did it just amazing I was just blown away um, and so that's something I really like but it means something to me and it's something that I think is looks good don't need to justify it to anybody else out there um, yeah, and, and it's kind of like, you know, we, we sometimes forget that we're the adults in the room, you know, like, I'm 50 fucking years old, you know, I, I, I don't consider myself particularly mature, but I'm not going to get much more mature than I am now, and so, you know, if I'm incapable, if I'm not capable of making a decision just because it's something that I want to do, or um, that I think is good, or whatever, then or I think is worthwhile then that's that's kind of like when am I when am I going to when am I going to um yeah and it goes for like anything it's like you know you want to quit your job fucking go for it you know like you you want to um you want to buy a new horse knock yourself out um you want to move home you want to yeah go back to school and learn something completely different that you know it's a it is up to you you know you do not have to justify your decisions to anybody else they are your decisions and you know it's like I mean, it, I mean of course you need to um, weigh them up but that's your weighing up to do you need to decide whether um, you can afford things that is it's your money it's your bank balance it's you know it's it's your decision to make so it's um, I'm not saying that you know none of the decisions that we make are without consequence but they're ultimately ours you know they are ultimately ours to make and ours to live with um, so yeah if you're thinking that you're having to justify anything that's my message for you today is if I can you're the adult. Make your call. Do what is right for you. Right, you might have noticed that Tillman's short sleeves today, which is pretty rare. Um, it's actually only 15 and a half degrees here, so I may put a um, sweatshirt on when I get sweater up. We're going to get out to the um, yard to ride in, but it is a nice day here in Scotland. Um, and yeah. Yeah, like I said, riding Percy, um, not doing very much with him, heading down to air to see my dentist and pick up a little bit of shopping, woohoo, so much excitement, um, and back home today, but I am, you know, like things, actually, yeah, I say so much excitement, things are good, you know, I, I kind of like, um, yeah, and sometimes I come, I come on here and um, I sometimes talk about the things that are um, bothering me <laughs> um, because I think that they might be bothering other people and I think that the solutions that um, I, uh, or the decisions that I've come to, but the, you know, the solutions that I've found might be useful for other people, but it's not that I want to be, you know, but I tend to like dwell on the negative and I don't really want, I, yeah, don't think that um, there is any negative dwelling to be on. I am my, I'm having fun, you know, I'm doing what I want to do right now um, and I am, yeah, life is good. I am I'm competing again this weekend so I'm going up to, um, going up to Edinburgh competing at Hopetown which I competed at last year uh, and I'm in the it's my will be well hopefully it will be my last BE80 so I'm going competing um, at the BE80 this weekend um, and I'm actually next weekend I'm going down to the Lake District to compete in a, at Warwick Hall in a 
90 so my our first 90 um, so and hopefully that will just mean I oh, transitioned up to 90 from then on but um, yeah I'm flexible if, if we get up there and I <laughs> it's too much then you know I'm quite happy to step back down um, but yeah so I'm going to Hope Town's quite hilly um, and it's um, yeah but it's a, it's a lovely event it's it's beautiful it's like really for the lower levels it's absolutely stunning stunning event um, so yeah heading over there um, at the weekend I think I'm down like I said in England the next weekend and, um, and yeah youngest kids finishing up at school he sort of found out he might be going to an apprenticeship which is really exciting um, oldest kids got a job um, after losing their job at Wagamama's because they had COVID and wouldn't go into work with COVID <laughs> um, and um, yeah it's like me just ticking along I think things are going well my book's going great I can't wait to uh, I'm getting really excited about that and um, Life is good. So that's um it's about it. So yeah, right, speak to you later. I'm um yeah, we'll be coming out here tomorrow and the next day. Um and so I will chat to you if I'm providing I'm in the car on my own and things go to plan. Alright, have a great day and I will chat to you soon.